Today we have a total of 12 cards to go over from the OCG livestream and it's a majority of the cards. We have prediction princesses, we have ninjas, and a few random cards. So let's get right into it. And the first one is going to be the ghost rare of the set. We have World Ocean Dragon Zillantis. It is a level 4 water sea serpent link effect monster. Thank you for a sea serpent monster. I've been wanting more of them recently. With firewall link arrows. It has 2,500 attack, and it takes one plus effect monsters. You can only use the second and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. You can only control one World Ocean Dragon, Zillantis. During the, your main phase, you can banish as many monsters on the field as possible, and then special summon as many of them as possible to their owner's field in face-up attack position and face-up defense position, or face-down defense position. During the battle phase, quick effect, you can destroy cards on the field up to the number of co-linked monsters. This card is very broken in my opinion. It is a link 4 that can take a link 4 to summon it, so if something like your access code gets negated, you can take that access code and slap this down instead. Being able to destroy cards on the field up to the number of co-links is pretty, pretty powerful if you're running certain decks that deal with co-links. And being able to shuffle and rearrange how many cards there are and what positions they are is very good. In my opinion, this card is very powerful. And let's go on into the next ones. Next up, we have a level 2 insect monster. And I did not get her a name at all. Let me try insect effect. So this is a level 2 water with 200 defense and total of 2100 defense. I'm going to ask for a name real quick on this card. But I think she might be very useful. Now with this card, she does, you can only each effect, oh she's a ninja monster. Oh. So she's probably like, I don't know. You can only use each effect of this card's name once per turn. If you control a ninja monster or a face down monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. If your opponent's monster activates an effect, you can target one face down monster you control, flip that monster into face up defense position, and flip this card into face down defense position. If this card targets, tar is tar if the targeted monster is a ninja monster, other than this card, you can negate that the activated effect. This actually helps. This makes Green Ninja a little better, in my opinion. And with it being an insect, that means you can flash some stuff into it. So there's that, and you can also do many other things with it. And Overall, I cannot wait to read the rest of the ninja support because I think it starts right here. So I'm going to move these out of the way. So these out of the way right here for now. Next up, we have new prediction princess cards. We have a ritual. We have a few other. We have a ritual a monster and a spell. The ritual monster is prediction princess turret wraith. It is a level 9 fairy ritual flip effect, 1200 attack, 2700 defense. This card can be ritual summoned by the new ritual spell. This card can either be ritual summoned or special summoned through the effect of a pre of prediction princess Terra tree. You can only use each effect once per turn. Flip. You can special summon one flip monster from your deck in uh, to your field face down. And then you have a quick effect. You can activate one of these following effects. Flip as many of your face up down monsters as you want face up. Or you can flip as many of your face up monsters as you want face down. That is kind of broken. Also with this one, it is Insect Ninja Mitsu. Or Mit Mitsu. Next up we have a new level 9. We have Prediction Princess... Biblo Musa, I believe that's how you say it. Earth level 9 fairy flip effect. 
2500 attack, 2500 defense. These stat lines are so interesting. If this card is tributed and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon this card in face down defense position. Flip. You can add one prediction princess monster, except another copy of herself, and one ritual spell from your deck to your hand. You can only use each of the above effects once per turn. Ritual monsters you control cannot be targeted by your opponent's card effects, and also they cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. So, Forbidden Droplet is very, very good against this deck. And then finally, we have the new Prediction Princess Ritual, which was hinted towards in the new Terror Wraith. This card is used to Ritual Summon any Prediction Princess Ritual Monster. Ritual summon one Predictions Princess Ritual Monster from your hand or graveyard by tributing monsters from your hand and or field whose total level are equal to or higher than the level of the Ritual Monster. You are Ritual Summoning, so pretty much in, in either attack position, face up, or face down. During the standby phase, if you control a Prediction Princess Ritual Monster, you could banish this card from your graveyard, special summon one non-ritual Prediction Princess Monster from your deck in face down defense position. This support's actually very good for Prediction Princess. I'm not ready to see more Guard Dog Turbo. I'm really not. So there's that. And now we are on to ninjas. We have a total, we have a lot of ninja cards. So this is the first ninja card. We have Cannon Ninja Kegru, Warrior Effect, level 4, 1600 and 2000. That is a thick defense. You can only use each effect of this card once per turn. If this card is summoned or flipped face up, you can special summon one ninja monster from your graveyard other than Cannon Ninja. When your opponent activates an effect that targets one ninja monster or one face down monster, you control while this card is in your graveyard, special summon this card to the field, face down the defense, and return the targeted card to its owner's hand. So it's like a fail safe. A normal summon, activate imperm, uh, cannon, set special face down, bounce back to hand. That's actually very good. Next up, we have Beast Ninja Baku. It's, it's a level 3 win, 1500-600. That's actually kind of strong for a level 3, in my opinion. You can only use each effect of Beast Ninja Baku once per turn. If this card is added to your hand except by drawing, you can special summon this card. If this card is special summoned or flip summoned, you could target one ninja or ninjutsu art card in your face-up spell and trap card zone or graveyard, return it to the hand. This is a good card, actually, being able to recycle your ninjutsu art cards. Or ninja cards. Either or. That's very good. Next up we have another ninjutsu art. It's probably the sacred... It's most likely the sacred scroll. I don't have a name on this one. You can only use each effect of this card's name once per turn. If your opponent controls a card, you can set up to one of each ninja monster or ninja spell trap card other than this card from your deck or graveyard to your field. Only one card from each location. So you can get a ninja monster or a ninja spell or trap card from your deck up to two. Which is pretty good, in my opinion. Then we have, if this card, if this set card on the field is sent to the graveyard. You can target one face up monster on the field, flip it face down. Okay, so it's a Book of Moon. And you could... You essentially run this in Flunderies, and you have a total of six Book of Moons. Oh my lord, I love that. Actually, that's that might be a neat tech. Next up, we have the can we have the equip spell. I think yeah, we have the equip spell right here. Ninjutsu Art Equipment Iron Mole. The equipped monster gains five hundred attack, and it's also treated as a ninja. Hmm. You can only use each of the following effect of our equipment once per turn. You could banish one ninja monster from the graveyard, then target one card on the field, destroy it. If this card is sent 
From the field to the graveyard, target one of your banished ninja monsters, either add it to your hand or special summon it in face down defense position. This is a strong equip spell and it's searchable by Hidden Armory. Well, Hidden Armory contradicts the deck a little, I believe, but it's still an option, even though it's searchable with almost everything else. Next up, we have the a brand new Continuous Trap card, and I'm sorry I don't have the name on some of these, it is because they rushed the translations in the Reddit server, but let's take a look at what it does. You can only use each effect of this card once per turn. You can target one ninja monster or face down defense position monster on the field as part of this card's activation. Tribute that monster and special summon one ninja monster from your deck. If this card is face up on the field, you can target one ninja continuous spell card in your spell and trap card zone. Return that card to its owner hand. So you have a way to tutor out different ninjas from your deck during EO player's turn, which is pretty cool. And you can just bounce your ninjutsu arts back to your hand. And that's very useful. Next up, we have Ninjutsu Art of Monster Transformation. It is another continuous trap card. And you can only activate one copy of this. You can only activate one copy of this card per turn. You contribute one ninja monster you control and target one monster in your opponent's graveyard as a part of this card's activation. Special summon that monster to your field. The monster special summon with this effect is also treated as a ninja monster. As long as this card remains face up on the field, if this card leaves the field, send that monster to the graveyard. So essentially, we could just take material from your opponent's graveyard more now. That's pretty interesting. I see this being a one of at most. This one definitely being a two of or three of. Because it's it has a lot of potential behind it. And finally, we have the fusion. It is a dark level 6, 2500, 1500 warrior fusion effect. And it is either Battlemaster Ninja or Ninja Battlemaster Mizen. It takes two ninjas with different types. Must be fusion summoned or special summoned from your extra deck by tributing the listed fusion material on your side of the field. Your ninja monsters can attack directly if you control a face down monster. This card cannot be targeted by opponent attacks. You can only use the following effects of uh, Ninja Battlemaster once per turn. If your opponent activates an effect, quick effect, you could special summon one ninja monster from your deck in face up or face down defense position. This is a very, very good, very good fusion, but did they have fusions before? I don't think they did, but. I wonder what you guys think about all this, and regarding to Green Ninja, with this new support, it's actually good. Because they're all centered around flipping face down, flipping face up, so yeah. So sorry about that, but anyways, I've been Bolt Spider. See you guys in the next video, and goodbye.